Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to make the look of a wood burn brand. You can find many wood textures at cgtextures.com. For your convenience, I provided the link to this image in the video descriptions area so you can download it directly. This document is 1350 by 1100 pixels with a resolution of 150 pixels per inch. Call up your type tool and click on the character text box. If you don't see it, go to Window and choose Character. Choose a font. I'm using Geomancy, which you can download for free at defont.com. If you don't have black in your color box, click on it. When the color picker opens, pick black and click OK. Click on your document and type out your text. To move it, call up your Move tool, click on it and move it. Go to the New Layer icon and press Control or Command, then click on it. This will make a new layer below the active layer. Let's fill the layer with white, and since white is our background color, press Control or Command plus Delete. Go to your text layer and press Control or Command as you click on it. This will make it into a selection. Hide the text layer by clicking off its eyeball. Go to Select, Modify, and Expand. We'll expand it by 15 pixels. Depending on the size and resolution of your text, you may want to adjust this number. Fill the selection with black by pressing Alt or Option plus Delete. To delete the selection, press Control or Command plus D. Go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. I'll blur it by 8 pixels. We'll invert the image. To do this, press Control or Command plus I. Go to Filter, Stylize, and Wind. The method is Wind, and check from the left and click OK. Go back to Filter, Stylize, and Wind, and this time choose from the right. Invert the image again, and press Control or Command plus L to call up your Levels window. Change the output darker levels to 72. Change the blend mode to color burn and decrease the opacity to 60%. Click on the new layer icon to make a new layer. Go to the text layer and press Control or Command to make it into a selection. Go to Select, Modify, and Feather. We'll feather it by 2 pixels. Fill it with black and delete the selection. Go to Fill and reduce it to 40%. Double click your text layer to call up the layer style window. Again, depending on the size, resolution, and characteristics of your text, you may want to adjust the numbers we'll be assigning to the layer styles. Click Bevel and Emboss and choose Outer Bevel. Make the technique smooth and the depth 50%. The direction is up and the size 20 pixels. Uncheck Global Light and make the angle 130 degrees and the altitude 48. Make the highlight opacity 0. Make the shadow blend mode linear burn and the opacity 22%. Click Inner Shadow and change the blend mode to linear burn. Make the opacity 10%. Make the angle 147 degrees and the distance 0. Make the size 50 pixels and click OK. Using these techniques, you can brand any text or shape into wood. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.